to Tea Leaf Project. My name is Stephanie and uh, here at the channel we talk primarily about tea, um, sometimes other content, but usually always tea. Um, so today we are looking at a new tea that David's Tea released as part of their Valentine's collection and that tea is called Chocolate Covered Strawberry. This one sounded really good. Um, Sometimes chocolate teas can either go really right or really wrong. Um, it, it's easy for those to, to just end up tasting um, artificial or, uh, you know, not so good. So I'm very curious to see what this one is going to taste like. So now that we've got a set up with the uh, table, we can kind of do some of this where you see me preparing it. Um, I'm going to do my Nordic mug here. So we're going to do um, two full scoop, scoops of tea. And I have my water here. This is the Breville Perfect Tea Maker. I boiled the water to 212 degrees and uh, I just took it off the, the, uh, the pl plate so the water is still super hot. Um, I really love the Breville... Um, actually, let's go ahead and before I start talking about that Breville, let's uh, set it. We're going to set my tea timer for three minutes. Okay, but I particularly love the um, the Breville. Now, this is the tea maker where it's got the basket inside that comes down. Um, and then you could steep a whole pot of tea. You could steep a cut of, cup of tea. Um, I generally end up using this, though, daily just for um, uh, heating my water up because it can honestly get kind of messy to clean it up if you make the tea in there. Um, but it is variable, so you can do it to the proper temperature. And um, with tea, it is extremely important to make sure you're preparing it with the right water temperature that can completely change a tea if the water temperature isn't correct. Um, I actually, I also have a um, Bonavita gooseneck um, uh, variable kettle that I purchased from Tivana when they were going out of business. And um, so I have that one as a backup, and I've got an Adagio um, variable kettle too, but I um, have those kind of as backups in case this one ever fails. I'm not gonna repurchase another one. They're very costly. It, this one was gifted to me, um, <clears throat> and it had to be repurchased because the um, heating element got wet, And um, but I, at this point, because I'm just using it for water, I'm not gonna repurchase another one. But anyway, I have some on backup. Anyway, I digress. You know, but it's an important part of tea preparation. You know, you have to have the right um, water in order to make a good cup of tea. Plain and simple. Okay, so we have our tea steeping. Let's talk about this tea here. Chocolate covered strawberry. And they've changed the packages again, so they look a little different. <clears throat> um, ingredients on this are apple, hibiscus, it's interesting, hibiscus blossoms um, are the second ingredient. So be curious to see if we can make it a latte. White chocolate pieces, um, cocoa beans, cocoa peel, natural strawberry cream and chocolate flavor, carrot, beetroot, raisins, roasted chicory, uh, root, yerba mate, strawberries and stevia extract. It's interesting that yerba mate is in this. <clears throat> That was very interesting. So we've got um, kind of quite a lot going on here in that tea. And it smells, oh, it smells wonderful here too. Um, our seat timer just went off. I, I Again, I set that for three minutes. I don't know if I told you guys. So you can see the white chocolate pieces. Normally I show you guys out of the bag, but maybe this is easier, maybe not. Um, but so way. There's white chocolate pieces. I could see the hibiscus. Um, honestly, I don't see that much black tea in this, interestingly enough. 
Uh, wait a minute. Actually, I think I thought this was a black tea, but now that I'm thinking about it, it's a mate. Oh, I don't know why I was thinking it was a black tea. That explains why I didn't see any tea in there. Interesting. Okay, so it's a mate. Okay. So, and this double walled Nordic mug, this is my favorite David's tea mug. Um, I especially love being able to see my tea and this mug keeps it nice and um, warm for a longer period of time. This, if I were to tell somebody one mug to buy from David's Tea, this would be it. It's actually very sturdy and um, it, it's a fantastic, fantastic mug. Okay, so we um, have that all out here. Okay, so it steeps up. It's probably hard to tell. Let's see if I can get the lighting right, but it steeps up a really pretty uh, red color from that hibiscus and the beetroot. And it smells very, and the dry leaf smells very vanilla and strawberry. And this smells kind of like strawberry vanilla too. Okay, so the first taste is pretty tart. Now I know I've had um, other folks tell me that they've made it as an iced latte and they loved it. So, um, I'll be curious to kind of see if the milk curdles because of that hibiscus, but because it, it's, it's it, there's a definitely a tartness here. Then I get that strawberry. And then the chocolate is not very strong. And then on the back end is like this vanilla. And then you get a bit of that not quite an aftertaste, but I can certainly tell that the stevia is there. So I'm definitely getting like a little kind of hint of that sweetness in the back end. So strawberry, vanilla, tart hibiscus. I think that that white chocolate is contributing to that vanilla note. I don't taste the mate at all. The mate, and, and you know, especially since mate is listed so low on the ingredient panel, I wouldn't expect to probably taste that anyway. You know, because the chocolate is not super strong, I mean, and I guess too, I was expecting it to maybe taste like a chalk, like a, a milk chocolate covered strawberry. But I think this is more of a vanilla or like a white chocolate covered strawberry is how I would describe the flavor. Um, I actually like this a lot. I think it's it's very good. I especially like, there was a, an Adagio chocolate covered tea that I, or it was called Adagio Aphrodite, but it kind of was supposed to be a chocolate covered strawberry tea. And that one had hibiscus too. And I do like the use of hibiscus in a tea with, to mimic strawberry because you do get a flavor that kind of is reminiscent of a fresh strawberry with that little hint of that, that kind of tartness there. So I do definitely like that. I hope, I don't know, folks have said they've made it as a latte, so I hope I can because I think this would be excellent that way. But I actually like it a lot on its own. And I think it'd be good iced as well. Um, my other favorite strawberry tea from David's Tea is the, um, oh, what is that called? It's the strawberry with um, rosemary in it. And that was from several years ago. So um, I, I do like strawberry teas. This one I think is very good. I like it actually a lot. So um, I would definitely give it two thumbs up. And uh, yeah, definitely a solid tea. And I anticipate probably getting more of this one, honestly. Um, so I am very curious to see if you guys have tried this tea. And if so, what do you think about it? Um, otherwise, thank you so much for watching. And uh, we'll be back with another review very soon. I actually have several Davis TTs to review, so you will see me again very soon. Uh, but that's it for now. Thanks for watching. Bye.